Hello, this uh, video will address uh, something that that is mixed sometimes or confused. Uh, but the important part is to concentrate on how to find them. And since I did videos on using prime factorization, so I will continue with that method. Because there are many ways of finding certain things in math, of course, but uh, I, sh I stress here on prime factorization. So the greatest common factor versus least common multiple. The greatest common factor is the, the largest number that is a common divisor for a given set of numbers. And if you check the, pre the other video that talks about it, you will see um, how to use prime factorization to find it. Now, this one is mainly for least common multiple, but also comparing it with the GCF. The least common multiple or the lowest is the smallest multiple of two or more numbers that they have in common. Uh, one method for this one that everyone can do easily with for example a calculator is to list the multiples let's say for two uh, of course skipping a zero just put two times times two is a is a four and 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 keep going multiples of a two and multiples of a three three nine twenty seven stuff like that um, uh, let's show uh, the two here. So let's give an example. Uh, what is the greatest common factor for, let's say, 15 and 25? Or 20. Let's say this is 20. And versus the least common multiple for 15 and 20. Of course, here when you do prime factorization, which uh, let's do it here, but probably we'll skip it in the other examples. Um, if you do for 15, it's 3 and 5. And if you do for 20, it, you get 4 and 5, right? But the 4 can be a 2 and a 2, because remember, they have to be prime numbers. And if you list 15, you get 3 times 5. And if you list the primes for 20, you get 2 times 2 times 5. For the greatest common factor, we looked at uh, what they share. And here they only share 5. But for the list common multiple, the usual method is to say 15, um, the multiples of t 15, you list them, and the multiple of 20, you list them. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to show the method that uses prime factorization. Uh, for the method that uses prime factorization, we're going to take all the, the factors, but if they show up in both numbers, we'll take where they show up the most. So in, with few examples, it's going to be clear. So I have a, a 2 here. It shows up twice, but I don't have 2 in 15. All right. So I will take 2 twice. Then I move to the next factor that shows up in both numbers. Uh, I have 3. It shows up in 15, but it doesn't show in 20. So I'll just take it. It shows up once in 15, so I'll just take that. Same thing for 5. It shows up once, and it shows up once. So we'll just take it once. So this gives me 2 times 2, which is a 4, times 3, which is a 12, times 5, which is a 60. So if I list the multiples of 20 and the multiples of 15, the lowest 
multiple in which they will intersect is going to be 60. All right. So uh, this method is pretty good. And um, uh, if you use it for GCF and LCM, uh, you, you know, you understand the difference between the two. And of course, if you're teaching it, you do these back to back. So uh, there is a, a good clarification between the two. Uh, let's do another number. Uh, or, or a set of uh, two numbers. Let's say, uh, keep it simple first, you see F, or let's say just the six and nine, which we know the greatest common factor. If you're trying to factor something like six X plus nine, then you know it's three, All right? And we can do prime factorization for it. For let's say, um, you know, the other, LCM for six and nine. Um, you can see here that it's it can't be a three because um, it's a number that you can divide the six by, and uh, that number you can divide uh, it by nine. So definitely it's going to be eighteen. Um, but how can we get eighteen? So let's look again at six is two and three, nine is three and three. So as I mentioned, a two shows up once, um, three shows up here, and it also shows up here, but it shows up most in nine. So I'll take three times three, the, the, this one. And two times three is six, six times three is, um, 18. All right, let's do another one, another set. All right, uh, greatest common factor for, let's say, 16 and 36, and least common multiple for 16 and 36. Uh, you can pause the video and try it do prime factorization for the two numbers and see uh, what you get. Um, uh, so for example, here you're trying to do something like this, the factor, right? And here maybe you're trying to do something like this, right? Adding fractions, you need a common denominator. Um, if you do 16 times 36, that's the highest. But you can get a lowest common multiple or a same common denominator, which is a in lowest kind of idea or terms, by finding this lowest common multiple. Right? Um, so I'll just show you some of up the applications. Right, so if you do, if you try this, 16, you get 4 and 4, 2 and 2, 2 and 2, 36, uh, 6 and 6, 2 and 3, 2 and 3. All right, so we can see here that a 2 shows up in 16 four times. It only shows up here twice. So we'll take four times for the least common multiple. One, two, three, four. However, three shows up here twice. It doesn't show in 16, so we'll take it twice. All right? For the greatest common factor, of course, when um, you do two times two times two times two for 16, and when you do 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, uh, they have to be in common. So that's a 2. And that's a 2, right? What else? Um, there is a 2. This 2 here is not here. 
this two here is not here and this three here is not there and this here is not there so two times two which is a four all right so if i was trying to do 16x plus 36 to factor uh, i can factor a four out of 16 and two and four of 36 because based on definition that's the highest i can divide these two numbers by right so uh, and that's shown in the other video however if i'm looking for the common multiple which means i need to switch these to same number then it will be these 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 which will become 144 144 right so you will do 144 then you'll say okay i need i multiplied 16 by something and i got 144 which is a 9 so whatever you have here you're going to multiply by 9 as well and 36 you'll say i multiplied um 36 by something i got 144 which is a 4 then let's say here you multiply that by a 4 and you transition all right so to summarize this uh let's do uh, that's the answer for this one and that's the answer for this one and now you know the difference between the two and how you can use prime factorization for both of them